Well, as the 29th, and we are doing a transmission video, sort of, but we're also doing an observation video, an observation vlog. Uh, it's 19 hours and 23 minutes into the 29th day of August, 2021. And we're sitting outside. I'm trying a new uh, a miking me method. I want to hear the background better. So I'll be using, right now, I don't have the mic attached. Then I have another mic I'm going to attach to it and see how that sounds. Then later on tonight, I will use another another attachment, microphone attachment, that gives me uh, I will call it a multi-axis uh, a multi-axis sort of spread for the uh, audio because that's what we're hearing. We're mostly audio. We're hearing the thunder. With the, we got a thunderstorm rolling in, so I'm going to turn the camera now because it's not about me. It's about the environment. We can sort of see and observe what's going on. And a lot of chunk of time, you have to do the observ observation, the raw observation like this. Uh, even though you have access to the setup, because you need to sort of interpret what you're seeing. It's not it's not sufficient to simply say, okay, this is what this is. This is you know, you don't let the satellite tell you what's going on. You have to ad adjust it into the background, in into the environment itself. Well, this is our second transition point. Mm -hmm. For the day, for the uh, uh, day of August 29th, uh, 2021, it is uh, 22 hours and 50 minutes come, uh, into the day. Uh, the observation session ended outside. Um, it was about, mm, let's say about two hours worth of rain uh, that I was able to record. So that was good for the, that was, that was good. Uh, I finished the project work that I needed to get done out there. Now I'm sort of setting up for uh, tomorrow night to see how that's going to work. And then we'll go from there to sort of see well, where we're going to go next. Uh, so, But in the meantime, it's uh, the time for the YouTube stroll. I just uh, left uh, the Yowie Vlogs and now I'm heading over to It's Our Life. I guess you could say there's no time like the present. So anyways, uh, it's just a couple minutes into... Uh, into the 31st day of uh, uh, August. Yeah, 10 minutes into the day. <laughs> August 31, uh, one day left in summer before we're officially in September. Let me fix my chair. Let me, let me just fix this up a little bit. Here we go. Uh, outside testing a new sound system. Uh, I wanna hear how it will sound in terms of uh, bringing in uh, uh, sounds like uh, that require a separation of channels, and that's what this is actually for. Uh, I want to test the ch channel separation. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I've heard that the sound does come through. I want to see how well the sound comes through in terms of the background noise. Uh, it's great if it gets me for when I'm talking, but when we're doing observation, we want to hear the environment that's behind me. That's the next question. So, uh, but this is this is how research is done. You try it out. Some things, sometimes things work. Sometimes things don't work. And uh, uh, this is how it ends up working out. I do have a nice setup here. Uh, actually, I should I should uh, photograph this uh, uh, afterwards. Uh, so I put this up on uh, Instagram and maybe uh, in one of the videos later on. Sort of keep a, a, a library of pictures that I want to insert in the videos as I uh, uh, make these discussions. So uh, maybe on the screen somewhere here, here or there, there'll be a picture of the setup. And uh, it's not an expensive setup. It's actually rather cheap. So uh, uh, we'll kind of have to sort of see how this goes. Well, it is one hour and 43 minutes into the 31st day of August, and we're transitioning inside. Uh, you always feel bizarre when you come off of a, uh, uh, an observation uh, run. Is You're outside for several hours, so you get used to outside. You get used to seeing the things around you. Also keeping an eye out for skunks and <laughs> things like that. But now I'm inside, and so... Anyways, uh, what I'm trying to get a hold of, and, and this is sort of one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm testing out is the audio, is I'm using this device here. And notice how the microphones are separated. Uh, it should give you a good separation of channels so that 
you can hear things go from from the left side to, to the right side if, if they're going over you or above you. You can hear things to the left. You can hear things. And otherwise, you 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 hear the reality that's around you. In other words, is good for audio uh, for environments where you're going to do a lot of audio observation. So the, if you're going to be doing audio observation, and that's what I do out there as well uh, for acoustical physics, uh, then that's what you're going to need. Uh, the and this part of the problem is, is the atmospheric physics takes so long. Uh, and there's really not a lot in between, so you start filling in uh, the time with uh, other projects, other research, and you know uh, other things that interest you that you sort of can sort of find out there. And uh, one of the things is uh, you know doing the acoustical physics, and uh, there are to the left and to the right. Excuse me, uh, there are. Waveguides and waveguides um, help amplify sound that is normally very soft, and uh, you can hear things very far off depending on how uh, you know the waveguides are kind of situated. And so this is uh, something that I find is an interesting project. I find it sort of to see how things end up working out is is pretty good uh, from from my perspective. But it's something that I enjoy. And I'm getting actually some new equipment in about two weeks. Uh, I'll be getting a radio that allows me to hear the trains. Uh, uh, right now I can hear the trains, but the problem is I don't know what's actually happening. Uh, I have a feeling there's a point where they stop and they, set, they, 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 they stay in rest. So this will give me an indication of the train signals. It will allow me to see how they're operating, if there's a wait signal or if there's a gold signal. And various other factors that would affect the uh, railway uh, where I am. So uh, these are. This is how the project evolves. This is how the the project ends up uh, growing to you know and, and adding new features in that I didn't didn't really have before. And uh, I'm gonna put either here or there or, or on either side. What you'll see is uh, you'll see the setup that I have, and it's fairly new. But it's also not again, not, exper not not expensive either. It's it's, it's not uh, something that is uh, very uh, very expensive. I, I always have to maintain uh, my uh, a sense of my budget, a sense of my costs. Uh, because if you don't, then I won't be able to do anything. <laughs> I'm not made of money. I don't get a lot of money. I don't get money from uh, government grants or anything like that. So I'm fully independent. Anyways, it's on to the Yowie Vlogs uh, on my YouTube show, and uh, uh, we'll maybe come back near the end and sort of, uh, I'll give you, uh, uh, say something more. I'm not really, not really too sure. Well, I'm back vlogging again. This is after a couple of days worth of absences. Uh, it is... Uh, Eight hours and fourteen minutes in the into the second day of September, two thousand twenty-nine. Now I'm talking about this vlog. I'm talking about uh, our life as cyborg alpha in terms of not the road part. The road, road we are not going to get stuff here. That this doesn't mean I haven't vlogged every day. It just I haven't vlogged every day here. In other words, I haven't done the vlog for uh, our, our life as Cyborg Alva. Uh, and that's, uh, that's because of, of more, in many cases, on the road vlog, I've said everything I've needed to say. <clears throat> and there's really nothing more to say. Right now, I'm in back to school mode. Things are starting to, to sort of move along. The, if you will use the train analogy, everybody's on, on board, the whistle has sounded, the train has started to move. But of course it moves, trains never pick up speed very quickly, they pick up speed, they pick up speed slowly, so we're still pretty much uh, getting underway. We haven't gotten underway just yet. Uh, the new observatory, uh, observatory uh, section is working out well. Uh, I've been able to extend my Wi-Fi out to where the observer, my uh, 
observation post is. So I have full service out there. I can do other work while I'm doing the observation. It's sim simply a matter of filling in the time, so to speak. Um, I am vlogging as much as I can out there. Uh, that, that will be coming into here. But the observation, a large chunk of the observation vlogs won't be in here because they're just long. Uh, the observations, uh, sometimes they succeed, sometimes they don't succeed. Uh, in most cases, you will need a set of headphones or a good set of speakers in order to hear what you need to hear. Uh, that's what I began to realize with this. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, how you approach the particular issue. And there's a variety of different technical things that still have to go on. I still have to upgrade my network. Uh, the main router has to be changed out. That's coming along. Uh, I haven't fired it up yet, but uh, I have done, and this what you have to do is when you're going to change out the main router, you have to do a network audit. You have to figure out what's on the system, uh, what needs to be sort of set in place. These are your routing tables. Uh... And then from there, there's there are things that are are, are, are placed at, uh, uh, at loose odds. In other words, they don't specifically have a particular fix uh, fix point on the uh, on the router, so uh, that can come in later on. But uh, the stuff that needs to be fixed into the router, that be anchored in the router, needs to sort of be there, have its place, and make sure that everything is uh, sort of hunky dory, if you will. Uh, so. So right now I'm up for a bit. Uh, I've had a lot of fatigue these last few days. It, that happens every once in a while. Uh, my meditation has fallen off. I'm just trying to remember what what's next. And to remove some of the uh, uh, the, the unnecessary pauses, but that's always a bit of work to do. Most people cut it out. Most people cut out the parts where there's, there's really not much to say or you're tripping over words or uh, not exactly being as articulate as you possibly could be in. So you see only the, the choppy bits. That there's no sort of continuous all the way through. Or they, you know, is where they feel embarrassed. It's where they feel uh, they need to... Uh, Excuse the particular flaw or flub. This is where you see the choppy bits. They've, they they cut all that out. But for me, it's it's it because you're seeing what you're seeing. It is sort of uh, uh, what you see, what you get is what you get. There's no real editing here, except maybe at the beginning and the end, uh, and that's sort of the, 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 the smooth things out and smooth things in. I always leave an, extra, uh, leave an extra space in the beginning, I leave an extra space in the end, and this is just simply for editing purposes. So I do a large chunk of the uh, the uh, ins and outs of the clip uh, already within the clip. So that's as I'm working out, working out various different issues and, and uh, <clears throat> concerns within the vlog. So. And as much as I can, I try to uh, respond to the to comments about the vlog uh, or the channel uh, because it's on Kawhi T House TV. Uh, there's another channel now, or TV, that's coming up. That's uh, sort of where a large chunk of the observation vlog will be. That's where it's going to be, actually. Uh, you'll see some of the stuff from the past. I'm slowly bringing back a Cyborg Alpha TV network. That means there's going to be stuff done for... Uh, Academia University TV, that's, that's going to be there. So there's a number of different components that, that, that still have to be brought together. Uh, in addition to going back into the deep dive research, research, I have already begun doing that. That's why I extended the network out to the observatory post. I've also uh, begun working on and improving uh, the, the Earth Observatory along with the Solar Observatory. So uh, of added and expanded to that as well. So we are moving into uh, well, a larger research base and I'll probably be vlogging almost every single day in terms of the road vlog 
uh, because I'm now scheduling uh, to go to my parents' house on, on a daily basis. They do need some more help, so I'll be there on a regular basis uh, trying to fix things up, trying to get things done. So <clears throat> that will be a factor as well. So uh, we'll see how the new schedule works out. There's a lot that needs to be done. But as I said, it's the uh, beginning of the school year, and uh, uh, the it's the first week, and so in the all aboard signal is uh, has been uh, sort of said the first time, and uh, we will be proceed to be leaving the station very soon, probably uh, by the fifteenth of September. We'll be on our way, so. Uh, this is back to school. Well, now it's a good time and there's any to vlog. Uh, it is four hours and 39 minutes into the third day of September. I can't remember the last time I vlogged. Uh, that sort of... Well, I did this... Uh, I'm talking about this vlog. I'm talking about... Uh, the scooting vlog I did, this, I did this afternoon uh, and today... The editing is is coming along very well, and we're starting to roll along into our deep dive research. Uh, and we really haven't started in terms of the deep dive research, but things are coming along, uh, even though we haven't gotten in there. We've gotten you know significantly far, and it's going to be an interesting uh, sort of ride the next few months to sort of see where things are going. There are all sorts of predictions, but things seem to be all over the place. And I think it's because there isn't a consensus amongst enough of the group as to the direction things should be headed in, that this is what's causing a large chunk of the, uh, of the confusion. And we're talking about the elites. Most people talk about the elites as a singular group, a singular mind, a singular focus. But this isn't, uh, isn't always the case. There are differences. There are, as I said before, there's often a competition. It's, it, 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 the, the elites will agree on certain things. So there's well, the elites, the deep state, the you know, the shadow government, and so on and so forth. They all have their own particular views, their own, own particular ideas, and own particular interests. Just because they work together on some things doesn't necessarily mean they, necessarily mean they agree on everything. And of course, at the same time, they're wondering, and this is what I've been looking at, these sort of the, the notes on, at Davos, and, and they publish a lot of their stuff in Davos, and they have all these uh, sort of research uh, papers that come out, and presentations, and conferences, and so on and so forth. So you can go take a look at them and sort of see what they're all about. And so you can sit and read through them. So, so you're, you're perusing. Even though I'm supposed to be organizing my notebook, but that's not going to happen for another week or so. Uh, I'm not going to sit down and do any heavy research, heavy categorization. I've got things set up. I've got the notebook organized in, to, in, in a sense that it's ready to go. But I haven't really started filling it out yet. And I would sort of wait till mid September. That's when I usually start rolling along with mid September. Uh, I've begun some initial work now, but the sort of back to school train uh, takes a while to get up to speed. I've got uh, my observation posts working fine now. Uh, and there are still some upgrades on the network that has to be done. The observation. Uh, observation, the Earth observation, the solar observation uh, system is working fine. I added in some new met metrics that I want to watch. Because it doesn't always go as you would think it would go. There are uh, certain conditions that don't appear to be what they actually are. And this causes a number of problems. In addition to that, 
just because you're seeing something on the screen doesn't necessarily mean that the, the measurements are accurate. In other words, their measurements could be off. The timing for a particular event could be off in terms of how you're seeing it. Instead of being 15 minutes off, it could be a half hour to an hour off. It really depends on how the frames come in. And so the, you, you, you have to think of, oh, I'm not seeing things currently, I'm seeing, you know, as they are currently, I'm seeing things 15 to a, 15 minutes to a half hour delay. And that doesn't always make sense. And particularly like days like today in, 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 in this current period, uh, when I just finished watching some, uh, finished doing the YouTube stroll, there is a, sen a bizarre sense. I want to keep watching YouTube stroll, but right now I'm kind of off in the weeds. When you're off in the weeds, uh, this is where a number of, uh, 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 this is where the altered states start to come in. This is where you start to feel that, that it, it, you, it, it's a very bizarre feeling. It's almost, in many, many ways, what I call the 4 a.m., the 5 a.m. Uh, FOMO, where you should have been sleeping, but you're not sleeping, and things are just wandering through your mind, uh, in many ways, an uncontrolled fact. In other words, you're kind of, even though you're awake, you're still fundamentally dreaming. This is the only way I can describe the altered state, is that, that, that well, yes, you are indeed awake, but... Uh, you're still at the same time dreaming the mind in terms of what it's thinking about and where it is really sort of is uh, you're, you're, you're dreaming still that's the way it feels now and so I think I'm going to shut down I'm going to go back to bed uh, see what, what what happens in my dreams my dreams have been kind of unusual and interesting at the same time um, again it's placement in particular scenarios <laughs> almost, you know, different experiences. Um, but they've been interesting. They've, 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 they, in, they add an interesting uh, layer to my dynamic in terms of how I respond to certain events. Sometimes I respond okay, sometimes I don't respond okay. It really depends on, in many senses, the mood that I'm in. Is, but I haven't, been, I haven't, the good thing is, is that I've been able to Resolve a number of issues that were making me angry. I wasn't I angry while I was awake. I was angry while I was asleep in the dreams. But I've been able to resolve that. So the question is now, is there something more? And as the thing is, it's because I don't achieve the things I want, always. Or there are certain realities that I've, I've sort of become accustomed to that aren't necessarily as one would like them to be. And this is sort of where we are in terms of the uh, the dreams and sort of the experiences within the dreams. Uh, and some of them are actually coming back to me now. This is These are the ones particularly uh, that I had were but the first time moving into the house where I go for dinner. I've been there for a long time. And there are memories as we first moving in, as all the construction was going on. And I remember them tearing up a set of railroad tracks uh, that really didn't seem to lead anywhere. They were sort of there, there, but uh, uh, I guess they hadn't been used for so long. That's why they were tearing them up. But at the same time, I'd always hear the train whistle. And it wasn't. It wasn't a. It wasn't a, uh, a, a a diesel locomotive. It was steam. Now, why would be hearing the steam locomotive whistle and not the um, and not the diesel? I don't really know why that was. Because the area that we were moving into uh, had initially been a farm. I guess there was a railroad track there to bring up the some of the things. It was the boondocks at the at, at, at the sort of the rural area at that particular period of time. It's no longer, it's now fully within the city. The city has expanded to the point where uh, it's now fully within the city. And now where I am is sort of nearing the edge, but even that is kind of starting to fill in. And I have railroad tracks just uh, uh, 
uh, less than a mile away from me. So, uh, I, I sit and listen to the train almost every night. Uh, a lot of, I, I use it for uh, the observation work in terms of, uh, this is what I'll have to do and when I get out and do a vlog, probably tomorrow night. I was out there tonight, but I didn't vlog. I didn't do any of the, uh, the filming of the observation. Uh, I was just too tired. So, I'll have to explain how you can understand and study waveguides and various different effects in terms of acoustical physics. Uh, while well, you're sitting out there waiting for the atmospheric physics, the points in atmospheric physics to come through, uh, you can actually do uh, the acoustical physics, and you can use the sound of the train and the train's horn because there's a there's a crossing there uh, to determine how the sound is moving about in the particular shape of the area. So uh, it is quite for me, it's quite interesting because this. This is the type of research that I like. Rather than seeing it in, in a model or in a uh, simulation, you're seeing the physics in reality. You're seeing it uh, within the dynamic environment rather than in a static model or in a sort of uh, a, a simulation, if you will. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and I will see you uh, for the next transition period.